What's up, everybody? Good afternoon. This is DB, and today we got to drag it out, knock them out, fight a battle. I want to see who's best. Who's the best around? Huh? Who is it? DB is going to tell you, so stay right there. This DB, and I'm about to take you behind the nonsense. So today, guys, we are going to take a look at Sauvage à du Parfum versus the Pride of our Moth Boron à du Parfum, <laughs> which is a Sauvage uh, clone. So let's just go ahead and knock this one out, okay? Bottom line, uh, the Armoff is the better version of them all. So I sprayed Armoff on my left and I sprayed uh, Sauvage EDP on my other side. And um, this is what I got. I got them both uh, projecting very well. They both was in the two hour projection range, but Armoff won in the longevity. Uh, Armoff gave me 11 hours versus only nine and a half from Sauvage. Uh, and that is on my skin too. So uh, our moth stayed on my skin the whole entire time. Uh, Sauvage started fading away. Um, they both smell exactly the same. Our moth hit that 95%. Smells exactly like it. Matter of fact, our moth is actually a little stronger the whole entire time. The uh, Sauvage uh, EDP uh, kind of got a little bit soft on me somewhere around the six, seven hour mark and was real weak the rest of the way, but it, it hung on um, until nine, nine and a half hours. So it definitely did not get to the 10 hours uh, versus the Armoff got me guaranteed 11 hours. Um, the Armoff was extremely strong. I was very surprised it stayed on my skin strong, but when it died, it was done. Uh, the Sauvage had its stages like most normal things do. It was strong, then it was mediocre, and then it was weak, and then it died off. So, guys, I, I mean, I'm not a Sauvage lover at all. I do not like Sauvage. I, I, only time I will touch a Sauvage. Uh, the only reason I have this 30 ml is because a friend of mine wanted one, and I told the guy that I wanted it, and already had it ordered and my buddy said no 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 I want the EDT so I went ahead and bought it just because I'm just not that kind of guy uh, if I tell somebody I'm going to buy something I am and I didn't want to leave the guy hanging so um, I want to thank my boy Rudy Martinez for his Armoff and Justin Davis for the Sarvage and I really really appreciate it guys helping me out Guys, and I'm only 20 away from 300. I got up, took a little tiny nap. I had an interview earlier this morning, took about, I don't know, it wasn't even, but maybe an hour, hour and a half nap. And I got up and realized I had 280 subs, so I'm 20 away. Um, let's get to that 300, guys. I'm giving away a perfume to Marley Tester. Um, but I'm going to tell you, if you're really honest to God looking for a Sauvage, and I looked this up, Sauvage is still hanging around the $80 mark. You can find it uh, in some of the Facebook groups for around uh, 50, 60 bucks. Armoff is $22. I mean, it doesn't matter which way you go. Armoff's going to be the cheapest and it's the best. Out of this battle, it wins. Hands down, guys. Hands down. So, get it. Um, I'm actually going to keep it. Um, and and I'd rather have something that's cheaper that lasts longer. What do you think? Um, so, hey guys, tomorrow there may not be a video. I'm actually going to give uh, Authenticity. Sonny uh, from Authenticity sent me a sample of his new release that doesn't even have a name yet, and he wants my opinion. So tomorrow I'm probably going to wear that to give him his due diligence, let him know what I think. And probably help him come up with a name. I'm blessed. Believe me. I'm blessed. So you guys have yourself a great day. And most likely I will see you Sunday with another video.
Maybe tomorrow I'm coming up with something. This DB. And I just took you behind the nonsense. Have a good one.